Hello, my name is Jessica Liu, and I am here on behalf of the Genomics Research Center here at Academia Sinica in Taipei, Taiwan. I was asked by the editors of Gastroenterology to speak about a paper entitled Incidence and Determinants of Spontaneous Hepatitis B Surface Antigen Seroclearance, a Community-Based Follow-Up Study. This study is a part of the landmark REVEAL HPV study, which stands for the Risk Evaluation of Viral Load Elevation and Associated Liver Disease for Hepatitis B Virus. Seroclearance of hepatitis B surface antigen is one of the most important outcomes for clinical and therapy in chronic hepatitis B. However, spontaneous surface antigen seroclearance is very rare. Previous studies in highly endemic areas have found annual ser seroclearance rates of only 0.5 to 1.4%. These previous studies, however, were mostly clinic-based patients, and as of yet, there have been very few studies using community-based cohorts. Therefore, the aims of this study were to examine the natural history as well as the incidence and determinants of hepatitis B surface antigen seroclearance in a community-based cohort of previously untreated individuals. Between 1991 and 1992, we recruited 3,087 individuals and followed up um, every 6 to 12 months. At each follow-up study, individuals were tested for S antigen and E antigen serostatus, anti-HCV serostatus, ALT levels, and serum hepatitis B DNA levels. Individuals were excluded from the study if they showed any signs of liver cirrhosis or were positive for anti-HCV. Follow-up was conducted until June 30, 2004. Among 3,087 individuals, we observed 562 cases of spontaneous hepatitis B surface antigen seroclearance. With an average follow-up time of 8.04 years, this gives us an annual seroclearance rate of 2.26%. The most important predictor in this study of seroclearance was serum hepatitis B DNA levels at baseline and at follow-up. Those individuals with very high viral loads had very low seroclearance rates. Those individuals who had large decreases in viral load during follow-up of greater than three logs showed very high seroclearance rates. 95.8% percent of individuals who had seroclearance had undetectable serum HPV DNA levels prior to seroclearance. And lastly, in 145 individuals whose serum HPV DNA levels de decreased to undetectable during follow-up, their cumulative probability of seroclearance at 60 months was 25.8 percent and at 100 months was 51.3 percent. In other multivariate analyses, other predictors of seroclearance included males with BMI over 30, increasing age, and ethnicity. In conclusion, this study shows various predictors of hepatitis B surface antigen seroclearance, the most important being serum hepatitis B DNA levels at baseline and at follow-up. This study has significant implications for the future of clinical and uh, treatment of chronic hepatitis B and shows that the suppression of serum hepatitis B DNA levels to undetectable is an important factor for future of seroclearance and antiviral induced seroclearance. Thank you.